שמרפא בכל כוחו, ובו מבואר כי על ידי אמירת שבח זה בכל כוחו הגשמי של האדם. בזה מעוררים, פייג' ר' כ"א, בזה מעוררים את הנשמה הרוחנית להתעלות ולהשיג קדושה, ועל ידי כך נשבר ונכנע כוחו של הסדרה אחרה. זה זוהר הקדוש, תנינן כל העונה אמיני שם רבה מברך בכל כוחו, דעה יהיו כוחו. זה זוהר יעקובו, when you say אמיני שם רבה, you supposed to say it בכל כוחו. What is called כוחו means? For all your might, Nitzkaifa. Yeah, maybe do with your... Scream! Like... Loudest voice possible. George, when was the last time you saw people answering Amen Yashem Rabba this loud? Most of the time they're, they're just very, very quiet. Now says the Zohar, but I'd say it's a good thing to do with the Kif. He says, what is in the whole Kohol? With all your Neshama, you have to feel it comes out of your Neshama. And the Zohar says over here, Bechol Kohol Agashmi. I'm okay, John, what does it mean, Kohol Kohol Hagashmi? So what does it mean? Yeah, it's true. Gashmi, it's true, Gashmi. Elirad, what does Gashmi mean? No. Physical. Enthusiasm. Atachti pocha. See, I'm serious. Then pocha, he says, all the way from the head to top, Asarat to pochet, has to shake, says the Zohar. Some say it's 28, you say 28 verse, no? יש אומרים כוחו, כוח אמנותו, כוח אמנותו. זאת אומרת, גמרא, ברינג יש מסכת שבת. כוח אמנותו. יעקובו, ברינג יש שבת. אני שמעתי שבכל כוחו מינס בכוונות. כוונות. יוד א' ושאו, לא רק כשקרים. נכון. אז אלה מילים, בכל כוחו, יש כמה מילים. אתה יכול להביא את המסכת שבת, יש כמה מילים שם. למחוק את העמלק, יש הרבה כוונות. נכון. That's what it says any time I'll kill John a person does Avera, he falls into the clipot. And that's why after a person did Avera, right away he feels sad. Yeah. Look, you do you have some problem? No, you person has a problem with this with somebody. Only what waits you. Yeah, it doesn't matter what. You won the argument. Afterwards, what do you feel? In your heart? Lost pain. Pain. But some people careless, they don't care. It's not careless. They feel the pain. Really? The enemy? They just get over it. Kuf you did. Kuf you did. Every person has sensitivity into him. Question is, does it cover up? But the sensitivity is there, always. Chodesh, Nechodesh, it's always going to be there. The Amara says over here, Oh, somebody put a sticker not too far from it. Here. Yaakov, come read, listen to this. Yaakov, come. Kol ha'oni amen, yesh amir abba b'chol kocho, says Rashi, perush b'chol kavanato. Do you know what kol kocho means? With all his strength. With all your kavana. Which is a full concentration. Don't look, check on your text message. Don't look at something else when you say, I'm answer the Kaddish. Kaddish says to be answered, Rabotai, loud. Oh, here it says the word Kavanato. Rashi. Rashi. So Rashi and Tosafot's opinion, what does it mean called Koho? Hashimon, what does it mean? It means your Kavana has to be fully focused there. However, Veri Omer. When a person is able to nullify the bad decrees, the gzerot kashot, lo alenu, lo alenu, different type of gzerot. When is that? Only when you answer Bechor, Amen, Yeh, Rabba, with all your avos, with all your voice, loud voice. Amen, Yeh, Rabba, Mevarach, Le'alam, Ula'al, Me'al, Ma'ayat, Barach, Nipay, Zod, Nichal, Fesh. Has to be, says the Zohar, you're going to see right now, why? Adir, as pakajit, Yeh, Rabba. Sure. Amen, Yeh, Rabba? Yeah. You saw me a million times, Yeh, Rabba. 
And he said the Zohar, it says, what is considered to be your Koach, Yaakov, you know? What's your Koach? Your Neshama. Your strength is your Neshama. What, how do we know? Yeah. When a person is alive, he has Koach. When a person passes away, he has no Koach. What's the difference? What changed be when he was alive and whenever he passed away? What changed? With neshama, without neshama. Oh. So it comes out your koach, anisim jod. What is your koach? Your neshama. Yeah. So says the Zohar, if you have to answer the Kaddish, with all your koach, what does it call all your koach? With all your neshama. And he says, how do you wake up the neshama? Ki vada yitzarich litara kol shayfu bechaila takif. Vada yitzarich lorer et kol evarav bekoach hazak. Ve'amirat yesh emir abba. When you answer Kaddish, Amonov, you're supposed to answer it, hazak. Hazak kuftek yesh che? Nitol ka adushi ha, yishosh. Adshus lo yisil. Wow. דהיינו שצריך שיזדעזע כל גופו של האדם ונענע כל איבריו. You have to shake all your body when you answer המניה שמי רבה. If you see the Hasidim, they always answer like this. They always go like this. You ever saw the Hasidim? Yeah. They always shake their hands like this. When they answer the Kaddish. They don't just say answer it. Prostor Tom. And they do it when they shake their hands. When they do that. Some people I saw they shake like this. When they answer it. But it has to be Rabotai answered, Yitzchak. Bechol kocho. With all your loud voice. Instead of screaming at home, keep the screamings for true. When? During Kaddish. And listen what he says here. Begin de bitarutata takif de itakaf, lefi she bitarutata hazaka she mitchazek ba. It arau koach kaddish ayla ahu morer koach hakadosh ayliyon. שהיא הנשמה, כנודע שעל ידי התעוררותו הגשמי מתעורר כוח הרוחני. אהרון פעמידת. It says when a person is doing an action on the physical level, it wakes up the spiritual level. When a person is sad, he said he got a ticket. And right now he starts laughing, laughing. He's not happy, but he's, not, he's, he's smiling. What are the, after Machiski, what's going to happen in his heart? It's going to change the mood. They want to change the mood, just take it for you. It's going to affect his, his mood. Just the fact the physical moves. So says the Zohar, any time you move the physical, the spiritual also wakes up. And this way, says the Zohar, by screaming the Kaddish, the answering the Kaddish, mit'alet betoch ha-Kedushah. Your neshama is elevated all the way to, to the highest levels of Kedushah. Ve'itibar chayla betukpad de-sitra ha-chara ve'nishbar ve'nichna koach betokef ha-sitra ha-chara. What's the reason the, the person has bad decrees? Asim hajo. Ah, wah, wah. Kol ha-kavod. You're just into, into here, huh? Kol ha-kavod. You can say Agomela right now if you want. No, I'm serious. Yesterday a few people said it over here. We had a session of uh, Agomel. Agomel Hayavim Tavo. You can say Agomel at night time. Yeah. All the time. That's how women do it. Women Hayav to say Agomel or no? Yes. If they wouldn't be allowed to say at night time, then it will be too because time bound mitzvah. So the fact that women Hayav, it tells you that it's not limited with time. Not day travel, no day, night travel, no Shabbat, no Kippur, whatever it is. You can say it. And even if without Sefer Torah. As long as you have ten kosher men, ten kosher men. The Alda says because that's all because. He, said, uh, he recovered. The rabbi said, "Say Gomel." He said, "I have time," and eventually he became sick again, and he never came out of it, and he didn't say Gomel. Yeah. The wow. rabbi felt so bad for him. Yeah. That's what we spoke about yesterday. Remember how important it was to say Gomel. That the Chachamim telling us when a person obligated him to say Gomel, if he doesn't say that, Chasu Shalom, he'll get another problem that you'll have to say Agomel for that problem to cover the first problem. It's very serious, Agomel. And also for women, Rabotai, many times we travel, or, or people were sick, 
And Baruch Hashem, they got better. Не только мужчины должны прийти, а даже женщины. It's an obligation 100%. Can the men cover them? Only whenever they are here in the Kanesot. Are they physically here? Physically here. Listening to your every word of the Baruch And understanding every word of your Baruch Ha. And also Meiri holds, Meiri holds that it's not good to say a for somebody else. Unless it's impossible. So why, like so I told why? you last time, if there's a thousand men in the Kaneso, everybody traveled to Miami and everybody came back, and now a thousand people will say a gomel, it's going to be, <laughs> well, you'll need another gomel already. So one covers everyone? So oh. in, in such a situation, one will cover everybody. But again, the condition that everybody must understand must be met. Basic this condition. No, what does it mean? 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 I don't know. 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 I the one that gives good, lehayavim tovot. Hashem is giving good, even to the one that they are hayavim. What is hayavim? They owe a lot of debt to Hashem. And that moment that he was traveling, Hashem could have taken care of him right now. Here's a here's a moment right now. Hakadosh Baruch Hu says, "You were traveled, you were sick. I could have tilted the scale towards the bed." But I, I, even though you don't deserve that, I should heal you. I still did it. Shegem malani, kol tuv. Hashem, you always continue giving me only good. Kol tuv. Yeah. First, I have to understand those those words. Elegana taitano, bistalek bego kedusha. Doesn't matter. If she gave birth ten years ago to the boy, she can say it together with the bar mitzvah of that boy. She didn't say it so far. Even after 10 years. She has to say Agomel. <coughs> Question, Rabbi. Ah. Something happened serious. You said Gomel. You were in a hospital. Something happened serious. You got out of the hospital. Yeah. You said Gomel. Good. How about the the dinner that you got to give like, to... Sudat okay. Yeah. It's a good thing. It's, it's not thing. as mandatory as the bracha. It's good to do. But it's not as mandatory. Bracha is very, very obligated. Birshut morai verabotai. Baruch ata Adonai. Eloheinu melech ha'olam shehakol niya bidvaro. Amen. So it says, how does it remove decrease from you? Do you know? How does it remove decrease from you? It says decrees are always when a person is surrounded with evil around him. Because of the mistakes he have done. He put himself with a lot of dirt, spiritual dirt. What takes away the darkness? Light. light. What's the biggest source of light in the world? Hashem. The biggest source of light in the world is Hashem. So whenever you are screaming so loud, the Kaddish, you get your neshama elevated right now all the way to Olam Abba, to the source of the Kedusha. Your neshama right now goes all the way from all this dirt into the source of the Kedusha. So whenever there's so much light shines on your neshama, what happens to all the evil, all the darkness? Goes away. That's how important it is for a person to answer Kaddish, Bechol Koho, physical strength, 28 words, and all your kavanah. Kaddish is the peak of tefillah. The poskim say Kaddish is more important than minyan. Do you know that? What's more important, Kaddish or minyan? You can't have one. Without no, minyan, other. you can say Kaddish. No, I give you an example. If I right now going to, I'm coming right now to. Uh, there's few minyanim, right? Right. I come to the kanesot kind of, to the my minyan. On the way, I listen. There is a Kaddish going on over here. If I answer this Kaddish, by the time I'm going to make it, another minute or two, it's going to pass. I'm going to miss this Minyan. I'm, I'm holding more or less there, but if I answer this, 
by the time I'll start, they're already going to be in the middle. Then when I'll start, I will miss out on the Kedusha, I'll miss out on the repetition, I'll miss out a lot of things. Should I say, this is not in my minyan, the first uh, Kaddish, when I hear that. Or should I stay and answer this Kaddish? You have to stop, no? You have to stay and answer this Kaddish. You're not even allowed to walk to what the people say Kaddish. <coughs> yeah. You cannot walk in front of a person that says Kaddish, you're right. Yeah. So what do we say? Kaddish is more important than Minyan. Many times in the end, the person says, Kaddish, Unio Padarogi. Abotai, if you understand that the Kaddish is more important than the full hour that you were standing here, you would not run out for the and miss out on the Kaddish. That's how important is the answer the Kaddish. Yeah, yeah. That's a person have to answer the Kaddish with all of her koach. Now, somebody told me, Rabbi, if you're going to say this, if I'm going to answer loud, people are going to look at me like a demona. True. When? At the beginning. But whenever this one answers like this, this one answers like that, everybody becomes, it becomes the norm. Devona looks only whenever it's one stands out. But whenever everybody dying, doing the right thing, it's not Devona anymore. Everybody doing it the right way. It's better for us to be looking Devona a little bit by Olam Azeh, and not to be looked one second Devona and Olam That's how Rabbi Amram Hasida said, right? That he went up on the ladder to, to be with the two girls, two shvuyot. Remember? And all the students came and they saw him, Rabbi, you embarrassed us. Better be embarrassing on you, you did such a thing about to do such a thing with two women, two shviyot. Shame on you. What the rabbi answer them? It's better for me to be devona, to be embarrassed, to be all whatever you want, all my life. In Olam Azeh. And not to have embarrassment for one second. In Olam Abba. So a person right now is Bahaim Aele. As long as he has the koach in him, he has the neshama in him, whenever he answers the Kaddish, it has to be with all of his koach. Got it? Baruch Adonai Le'olam Amen Amen Imloch Adonai Le'olam Amen Amen Let's go, boy, say. Let's cover ground before. Before ground. What was the Chidush? <laughs> yeah, right. Yesterday we learned the big Chidush, that if a person puts food on top of a tray, baking trays, many times you don't make the food touch the, te- the tray itself. Most of the time, you said that paper. Parchment paper. Or you put aluminum. So you don't need to make it. So you're not only not supposed to make it, if you do, you're not allowed to say bracha. And if you said bracha, bracha le batara. And whoever answered this amen on this bracha, amen yet oma. No, it's not always. Well, it's not always. Okay, if you do. Whenever you did. One time, you did in your life. You put your trays of the oven in the mikveh or no? Uh, you don't always put parvish paper in it? Oh, so he said that we follow the majority. Koyin of you understood? The majority of the times you put, or your wife puts paper between the food and the tray, the oven tray, you don't need to take this tray into the mikveh. My wife has a Because your food not touching the tray. Hazaku yeah. All the time, a majority of the times. Now, if, if, if really the majority is not touching, but always some part will touch, it's not cover 100%. Like yes. the side but it's usually covered. No, no, I'm talking about not this. I'm talking about the trays that they are all the time there. So the tray, the oven tray. But no, I thought it was oven stuff. So the edges, usually the edges overflow. That's what he's asking. <laughs> Do we go after majority asking of this? Majority of the clique. It's a good question. I don't know. We have to see. What is said about a crack knock, uh, nutcracker? No problem. Zechir Tzadik Libracha? No, no.
What do we do? Do we need to take it to Mikveh or no? No. No. Why? Because? It's not touching it's not me. Very good. What about the... Uh, can opener. Can opener? No, no. Also, also can opener. Right, Manuel. Can opener. What do you say? No. 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 You need to do not to let your eye. As long as you're not touching the foot. The shirt, yeah? Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Can opener. Let's see. 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 No. <laughs> That's the same way you have to answer the Kaddish. <laughs> okay, next. Then we spoke about knife of Shkita. Sakin of Shkita, Sakos, Sakin of Shkitim. So we are right now on page, I don't know about page. Tell us the page. And Allah Hey. Aaron, eyes inside. שאין לו צריך תבילה משום שאין לו נחשב כלי סעודה שהרי אפילו צונן אסור לחתוך בו אם לא בעד אחר ואף שהבהמה והוא הלך אליה מקום מקום לא נחשב כלי סעודה על ידי כך משום שעדיין היא צריכה בישול או צליעה וכן מה סכין שמפשיטים בו את האור הבהמה אין עומד שמש לאכול בו את האוכל כמות שהוא עתה בלא תיקון וכן הדין בכל הכלים שאחר שימוש והאם צריך עוד הכנה נוספת כגון כלי לישה סוטרו יסס things that you touch the dough no mikveh. Babulia says, Oshi Uro. Grinder. Not grinder. Grinder also. Babulia has this Oshi Uro thing. You know the business of Oshi Uro? Pasta maker. Pasta maker. Why not? Because pasta is not edible raw. How many times there was argument between the grandkids and Babulia about the pasta maker? Take it to the mikveh, Babulia. Yes, let me tell you about the kosher. או שהוא רואה איתו נאבי אלוהי. זאת מבחינת בשר, גריינד מיט, ואת המיט גריינדר. יעקב, the meat grinder, you don't need to take it to the mikro. שמחה, what's the reason? It's not edible. You don't need it that way. Very good. The tuma doesn't jump from the from that to to the food, even it's not edible. It doesn't, because it can only jump whenever it is edible food. Okay, we cover tuma. We remove the meat because it's edible. Why it has to be more edible? Bring about pakushi just in. By me, it will look about other people will eat it or no. Not Shabbat, for Muktzilos. You could. What is majority of the times? Right. My iPhone. Yeah, for the old. אין עוד דרך אנשים שעשה את זה. דרך. וכן רחיים או מדוחה ששוחקים בהם קפה בלבד, אין צריכים תבילה. סוטו קופי גריינדר. קופי גריינדר does not need מקווה. Salad maker, the real salad maker. Mango. Yeah. Mix it. You put all the fruits and you... So, it touches what majority of the time you use it for? Something that is edible or no? Mikve. It's made out of metal? Yeah. The knife is metal? Mikve. ואפילו אם לפעמים טוחנים בהם גם תבלים, כגון כמון, יש להקירה ולא תביא לדזרין בתר, רוב תשמישו של הכלי, ודווקא אם המכונה ביצורה נעשית בעיקר עבור קפה, אבל אם נעשית במידה שמה, גם עבור שחיקת תבלינים. אז אפילו ברוב פעמים משתמשים בה לקפה, מה שצריך להביא לו, מסתבר שגם יברך. So he says now, what if you have a grinder, it's not a coffee grinder, it's a grinder. People use it for coffee. And people use it for our spices. You choose. Rabbi, I, majority of the times, use it for coffee. I don't use it for spices. But spices also, I mean, not technically edible. I mean, it's... It's no an one, additive. Yeah, but no one, like, take a spoon and eat it. It's like itself, you're right, yeah. But it's an additive. So you additive to an edible food. You don't have to cook them. You have pepper, you have paprika, all these things. As this, you can eat it. Not like by itself. Yeah. 
You can eat by itself sugar like this also. Man, most people will not do that. But it's considered su- sugar jar. Need to make it or no? Yes. Jar made of glass. Glass, yeah. The glass is from the Rabbana. Uh, you're right. But yeah. needs or no? Needs. Yeah, I use it. Needs. I don't know. you understand? The glass of sugar, you need to take it to the mikveh. It's not the bracha levatah. The, the, the jar. The jar. It's not eating it itself. So not the mikveh. Nada. Yeah. Because the sugar, edible. it's edible. Unless it was a disposable one that you bought yeah, from nada, somewhere, nada. then you have to do it. Right. Right. If you bought sugar in a disposable jar, it's not disposable in a glass jar. No, if you put a glass jar with the pickles, then you washed it, left it, and then you used the sugar to put yeah, it Yeah, that's no problem. That's not a problem. Yeah, you spoke about this, yeah. Well, Unless you want to be mahmir, but yeah, mikara di no need to. You said if you got tourists to clean, it's not like a mikveh, no? If what? Pickles? If you're going to use it one time, you don't need but if you're going to turn it to No, no, we said because you are the one to turn it into a clean. The, Kavana, the the action was done by you. So since the Jewish person finished it to become a permanent Kli, no Tzarech Mikveh. Remember that? Shimon, you remember that point? In the jar that made of glass. Jar made out of metal even. Metal, metal, glass, gold, silver, whatever you want. Because you are the one to finish it to become a permanent one. So there, we're going to learn later that when a Jew finishes the action, even though the guy is the one that, that started it, right, we go to after the final yeah. touch. Who put the final touch? Yavre? Elibo Ahmad. Oh, I promised him to say about it. Well, at the end, I'll, I'll tell you about this. Muhammad Skazal is a point. Asam on Shatz Kitzis Kazimu, you have had a minute to to listen. Хочу скажи. Я заинтересован в ответе, не он. Да. Это помогает. Запомните, напомните мне скоро. Здесь мне кафе, это он им табила. Катава за что мы кому-то матчи цахти вилла. Бишул кафе. Ед билем, бело бераха. Вехан пасак хахам ехан. Вема за мечтата рама. То до бераха, вале бне сфарадим. Есть ле потро митвила. Кому мы хочем таблилим. Кегон пилпелим. צריכים תבילה כגוון שאינם מחוסרים בישול שרי תבלינים עשויים לשימוש גם בלא בישול וואו היר? אתה יודע את הכויס? בלאק פפר אתה יודע בלאק פפר קראשר קראשר ניסה את ניץ מקווה איזה? כן, כי זה סינגל שוגר זה לא סייבור כן, זה סייבור 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 וואו מלא אנשים לא לקחו את זה 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 But over there, what is the kavana to keep it until we finish it and then dump it? Yeah, yeah, that's the kavana. Of course. Okay, but but the aver like oh, it's special to kavana. That's different. Oh, that's that's a fancy. But that's that's most of them. The ones that have come, they already come it with the seal. And it's only for one time usage. Yeah. Maybe because what is that? That plate is nothing. For them, they're selling the item for you to buy the. The grinder. The pepper. Ah, the pepper. That grinder is, uh, what does it cost them? Nothing. Incentive. Yeah. But this, if it's refillable, then maybe people will use it. Just buy more pe- peppers or whatever. It's refillable? People yeah, refill some, it? Sometimes, refillable. depending on who, you know, the model. The, the, the some of them are refillable. So some. if they're refillable, you can, I still use them. Oh, because okay. his intention oh, is for oh, one time. Oh, oh it's Hag John Bio, Akwena Gadol. Right now they have a... Uh, Or other things already that they come like that. It's uh, uh, it's like uh, different types of spices already put inside together. Or salt, they have salt, sea salt, oh, le- sea le- salt. Le- all these things right now they have razzle. And they're for what do you mean? Multi-use? Yeah, you go like this, you break the sea salt inside. Yeah? Not multi-use. Wow. Multi-use. I just mix of spices together. Yeah, they mix of spices there. So th- No, I'm, I'm t- then it's no problem. You don't need mikveh. Right, as long as it's it's the, like the jar of the, the pickles. Yeah, but most of those things, uh, the fancy ones, they're made out of plastic or wood. But in the bottom like it's that. metal, no? Yeah, but how are you going to dip that? The bottom is metal, no? Yeah. But the knife over there is metal. Yeah. Can't see it. Can't see it. Knife is metal. Yeah. 
Я не знаю, majority глаз, ву. Я не знаю, это проблема, это проблема. Что это за нить миквы? И это multi use. Надо будет посмотреть, да, может. אוקיי, תמפל. הברזלים שמתקנים בהם המצות, גדעון סכין, כי אין סכין עם להט, שחותכים פה את העיסה של המצות, אינם צריכים טבילה, ואתה משום שהעיסה עדיין צריכה אפייה, כמו סכין של שחיטה, וסכין לא נותנים את האור, וכאן לא רוצה בדבר צריכים תיקון. כתב אתה לפי מה שכתבו הרמה, גם סכין של שחיטה וטוב לטוב לו ולא ברכה, הוא עדין לכן לברזלים שמתקנים בהם המצות, שטוב לטוב לו ולא ברכה, החשב מי ילדה לרמת הברזלים שמתקנים בהם המצות גרית ומסכין של שחיטה, משום שאי אפשר לשלושה ממאכל אחר, ולכן לא כתב בהם הרב שטוב להגבילה, מה שכן צריך לדעת, ושלא נשאר ממאכל אחר, וגם מספר האי שחותכים בו את הירק, יש אומרים שאינו צריך טבילה, טעם הדבר, כתב שאי אפשר לשלושה ממאכל אחר אבל בכל מקום אנחנו צריכים לטוב לו, וכתב פריחה חדש תמש שפריחה שאי אפשר להשתמש במאכל אחר. סוף סוף משתמש במספריים. עניין אכל, לעדינה יבחרי אפרי תואר, נקרא כלי סעודה וצריכים טבילה... וואו. מקלף. או, אני אגיד לך אקזמפל. A person has a pillar. He bought that pillar mainly, mainly potatoes. Sometimes he peels with this carrot. Does it need to take it to the mikveh or no? Vegetable, it's a vegetable, no. The potatoes are not edible. The carrots are edible. Yes, you need it. Which way we follow? I know why. Why? Tell us, tell us, tell us. No, no. I'm getting close, but I don't think that's it. So since maybe... So this is what we learned right now, earlier, about the grinder. <coughs> when you buy grinder, Rabbi, I bought a grinder today. Do I need to take it to mikveh? The, the question of the Rabbi will be, what are you grinding it with? For? What are you grinding with it? With this machine? With the not machine, with this grinder. Yeah. Machine is exempt. Because it's electric. Let's say it's not machine. What are you grinding with this? Rabbi, I can grind anything I want with this. Does it more? No, I can grind everything I want with this. Okay, but me, mainly only coffee. Mikve or no? No. Yes. It's not a coffee grinder. It's for the majority. It's It's multi-use. You can use it for coffee. You can use it for paper. You can use it for whatever. So since you could have used it for other things that they are edible the way they are, he needs to take the mikveh. But what if you're binding coffee grinder? Yeah. Once in a blue moon, maybe you'll do salt uh, grinding there or, I don't know, other things grind on there. Mikveh or no? No. no? no. Now take this concept and plug it right now into our question. A person has a pillar. What's the pillar meant for? All, the, uh, no, all, all purposes. purposes. Rabbi, but I, in my business, I only have carrots when the Ashkenazi people ask me to put the carrot on top. I get no orders with carrots. Majority of my orders, everything is potato based. So it's mainly the, the Spanish guy peels potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Trabajo tranquilo. All day he peels potatoes with this. Mikve or no? Mikve. Mikve. Rabbi, why? Majority of the times you said. Because it's meant for all purposes. Got it? Now, what about the cover of the pot? We said anything that touches the food needs mikve. The cover doesn't touch the food. Oh, the touch. It spills. Too much. When you put too much. No, no, no. So is that... You're right. But the food, your your uh, manti, your box, whatever it is, doesn't touch the, the, the top. Yeah. The steam of it mm -hmm. is going to touch. But the steam is not the food. The food is the box. The food is the osh polo. Bottom line? No. Says the rabbi is still obligated. Why? Why? It's part of the process. It's like one vessel. You know, I'll tell you halakha. With this you understand that easier. If I touch your osobo, you're all gonna jump right now. Listen to this. 
Osavo, Shabbat morning. You want to put a cover for, for Shabbat morning. Friday afternoon. The Shol Damoy. You remember your BV? All we used to cover Osavo. Do Shabbat. You come home. You turn, you know, my phone, where's the covers? What covers? Osavo without the cover, let's say the Chova. Let it not, not count. You must put the cover. Now Shabbat was a Shol. Can you put the cover now or no? I'm talking about blanket. Uh, yes. no. Can you put blanket on top of the osavo on Shabbat? Osavo is fully cooked. Fully cooked. Asu, what's the problem? It's called hatmana insulation. It's not slova mukt. It's slova hatmana. Атмана означает окружить, инсолировать. Шаббат инсолировать нельзя. That many times I it's a mistake that people do. They take out bread from the freezer. Common mistake. Шаббат. Take bread from the freezer and they put it under the blanket. On the, of the osvob. What is that called? Хейлуль Шаббат. Рабач кадам. Плата дора. What do you want from me? Mechalel Shabbat. Yaakov, why is it Mechalel Shabbat? Because he put the pita. Doesn't matter. Anytime you put under the blanket. What blanket? No, no. Put the blanket. No, no. Put the blanket. No, no. No. The table? No problem. The, plant, you know. the problem is the no, let it let it by itself. There's no problem. Okay, problem no. is whenever you are covering yeah, on Shabbat <laughs> on the fire. To conclude it on the plata Put on the plata or the plata. Yeah, no, then it's Right. If you want to take soft chala, soft lelipyoshka, uh, and you want to put it on the platter without covering. Yeah, you can. Allow. But put it under the pla the cover. Pat korpecha. Nilziav shabbat. Warm in drone. If so, question. Can we put on the, the, the regular bread before on Shabbat and to oven to warm it up before the Kiddush? Warm it up, the bread. Oven, not a, not a platter. Oven. Wow, well there you have a different problem. You gotta put falga on top. You gotta put falga on top. Why? In order to make a change from however you bake it. On plata, on, on the under korpecha, people don't bake like that. So the problem over there is called hatmana. Putting it inside the oven, people bake in the oven. So then you have another problem called, looks like baking bishabah. So what do we do? So you know you have to make a change. To so people that will be uh, passed by will not suspect that you bake the Shabbat. How? When a person baking pastry always keeps it open, no falgaunta. So by you warming up with a falgaunta, it shows that you make a change. This 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 way you'll be allowed. Why is the foil not hatmana? You heard he has a good question. Why the foil? You see, uh, why the foil is not hatmana? We just said cover. You're not allowed to put korpecha. Uh, why put foil? Foil, foil, no, foil. Not able to do it. Maybe it's all not all the Oh, what do you say, Liran? No, it's insulated. Now, both of you right. When is a problem of insulation? Is a problem only whenever you intended to insulate. Mm. But what if I have a lot, a lot of flies in the in the kitchen? You know, Bukharistan, 1935. <laughs> a lot of flies in the kitchen. And the reason I put this under the korpecha, not because I wanted to warm up. Just because I want the flies not to sit on it. Mamona, what do you say in this case? Mojna. Another answer in the Faga case is whatever Malkia John answered is because you only put it on top. 
the fall guy. When problem of insulation is only whenever you did it. All around. So because he put it in on top like that, he took out the mix the problem because that's not the way you bake. You never bake liposhka with the fall guy on top. Nobody does that. So this takes away the mix it. And as far as that mana, both those answers were right. So now listen to this. We're going to get to Lachot Atmana another time. Listen to this now. Bechot, Shabbat morning before you went to Betakneset, you wanted to get a Aliyat Ruhanit. So you opened the Osobo, Yakta Osobo, Chabar Giram, Nach, You opened it. Wah. Re, 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 achbenik, re, achasadeh. Asher, berecho, Hashem. You enjoy the smell very good. Baruch Hashem, akol tov. Can you close it now? No. <laughs> it's on the plata. Now don't open fire. Plata. Says Alakha. You have to take it out. No, no, Malki, listen to this. Says Alakha. If the Oswo is fully edible, means potato got over, miasa got over, rice got over, whatever you put inside, Amish got over. Then you are allowed to put cover the back, cover the Why cover back. Nina, yes, that's called ubrat. Because it's all ready. By putting it back, you're not doing anything. Question, Rabbi, you just told us to cover the food on Shabbat. Why the cover it's allowed? Part of, huh? Part, of it. Part of the Kli. Now I'll take this concept and plug it into here. Pot. The potato, the rice, the meat touches the pot. Nahon? The cover it doesn't touch. So I have to take the covers of the pots also to the big way. Yes. Why? Why? Part of the pot. Now you got it? All this was a side point to explain to you the main point. Now the main point is that we see that whenever you have a pot and you have a cover on top of the pot, they are together, one unit. So since the pot has to go to the mikveh, the cover of the pot also has to go to the mikveh. And I'll tell you more than that. The cover of the pot will be more needed to go to the mikveh than the pot itself. How could it be? How could it be that the cover will be more high up? Tell me a case. Like this. It's when the, when the pot itself is not made out of the correct metal, but this is as a oh. parzel or a oh. glass. Many times those pots are non stick. If it's non stick, it's Teflon. What we said Teflon is? Plastic. Safek plastic. That's what we said. You take those pots without bracha. Teflon pots you dip without bracha. Yeah, because of a doubt. How much plastic they put, how much metal they put, it's uncertain to us. It's a business secret. Manufacture secret, that's what he said. So since it's manufacture secret, we it's uncertain to us. But if you know how much percent does it have to be plastic? Majority. If you would know, yeah, we'll follow the majority. Problem is nobody will tell you the truth. This one will tell you this, will tell you that. So because you have a doubt, you take it to the mikveh, but bracha, you don't say. Boris, you understood or no? Yeah. Teflon pots, you take it to the mikveh, with bracha or without? Without. Without. You were saved by the bell. No, because you don't know the percentage and it's all secret, you said this. Well, now, what about the cover? Yeah, it's 100% glass, 100% metal. Yeah. You have to say bracha. You take the waffle maker? The waffle Would you say bracha on the cover now or no? Yes. yes. Yeah. What about you bring with 20 items? All right. Yes, yes, what about Barazi? One by one. Now George is on the line. Take a number, please. Yeah, yeah. That's George, what, uh, oh, George, that's a good question. Itzhak, what do you say? To say Bracha or no? Itzhak, Ma Yes, yes. I say no. I now ask you a question, and right now I'm going to shock you all. I know I'm going to shock you, but that's what Al-Khai is. What's the question of that? The pot itself. It's Teflon. Can I say it before you say it? You dip it with Bracha or without? 
without. So if on the pot itself, if you don't say bracha, the cover that is 100% metal, you say bracha or no? But the only reason you dip that is because of the teflon on the bottom. Aaron. You don't say. Yes. Aaron. What's the only reason you take the the cover on t- into the mikveh? Because of the pot on the bottom, nachon? But the part of the part of the bottom, you you dip it without bracha because you don't know if it's obligated or not. Maybe it's plastic. You say bracha rabbi. So how can you solve the cover bracha then? Because this is a derivative of this. It's the fair. Listen to this right now. Listen to this right now. Came to me chidush. Bechor, a person is giving you lachaim buchaim. Listen to this right Not vodka that it's uh, not tasty. Alcohol that it's tasty. Which alcohol you like? <laughs> With alcohol? <laughs> Do you say on this alcohol or no? Shakol yamid on this alcohol. Let's say whiskey. People like whiskey. He said shakol yamid on the whiskey or no? Yeah. Yeah. On the vodka you don't say shakol yamid on. Mamonov, you know that or no? Why not? It's not tasty. Now you show Sidish? Lilu nishmat goet? Adasima, apochima giret? Munkione, shakol goet. Can you say shakol or no? So you know, you like vodka? I mean, I can drink, but I never. I can drink, I can also eat paper. Do you like it? No. No, it's better. It's better. Uh, shows already know. Whiskey also better. Okay, for you. Some people like whiskey. I don't like any of them. The taste wise is terrible. Some people like vodka. Okay. So you don't say you don't say vodka. Sound vodka. Sound vodka. That's it. Rabbi, you touch vodka and you shvo, you won the game. <laughs> That's it. This is the topic. <laughs> Hardest topic in the Bukharian world. What can you show? No. The taste is not tasty. Taste is tasty. Taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Piot. Yeah. 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 So the whiskey is yeah, right. Okay, so listen to this. Any alcohol. Shh, shh, shh. Any alcohol that you don't like the taste of it, you cannot say bracha on it, period. It doesn't matter. Any alcohol that you don't like the taste of it, you do not say bracha on it, period. Rabbi. Why? Don't understand what I said. Yes, Nekru Rudi Katonu North, North Peru. It's the only North Desert which is Karukka. Da. Me kun understavi. Da ni se oni kusuju. Da ni se oni kusuju. Da ni se oni glataju. Da ni glataju ta ni. A ni kaj food baldeđi vos ni. Čo pa nije bila, ni tam glataju čoču. By mistake, they don't intend to glataju. It's not food. They don't take it either. Da ni se oni kusuju. So now listen to this. Dublin, I'll tell it to you tomorrow. It's 10 o'clock. Babu Hadonai Lo Ram. Amen, Amen. Muhammad, Muhammad. He didn't tell me. I told you tell me earlier. Believe it or not, I'm not going to tell you. Yeah, believe it or not, I'm not going to tell you. Amen, Amen.